hold on. No windows, emergency windows open. Nothing stuck behind the doors. You know, you may have water like in the seat right here. I have a little water right here. Uh, basically, I like a clean bus. That's number one. I'm a Garland Taylor, and I'm a professional San Francisco Muni operator for 19 years now. I do the same line every day. And it's not boring at all. You got different personalities. You got different cars doing things every second. It's always something's going on at every block. Uh, you may have passengers that doesn't have a great day every day, but the Lord woke me up this morning. And you have to come in as a professional to have you a great day. They're counting on you. you you're the one they're relying on each and every day, so. In Munich, it just seems like this impossible, unmanageable boondoggle. Munich is one of San Franciscan's favorite things to pick on. I mean, you can complain about the weather and you can complain about Munich. That's kind of a constant. You know, it's just part of the ecosystem of the city and you have to figure out how to make it work for you. You know, each line has its own personality. Um, the 38 is probably one of the most traveled lines in the city. So the 38 gives you this kind of slice of life going through the city. Third day, very works very hard. The schedules are very tight. Whoever makes the schedule, they haven't been out there. Well, a lot of things can make you late. You know, you have elder people, you have to wait, give them time to get on the bus, Just give them time to sit. Disability people, blind people, it's a lot of things. Outside of the bus, you got double parking, pedestrians walking across. You just can't mose on down the road like you're the only one out there. You hit this one red light and you go to the next light, it's, it's red light. Driving one of the biggest things on the street is a challenge. My bus is uh, 60 foot long, so you can't worry about your schedule, you're worrying about safety. Safety is your first priority. I ceased thinking of Muni running on a schedule a long time ago. When you pick up on the fact that the driver is rushing and that they're trying to make a schedule, we all pick up on that tension. I, I would rather know that this person is not going to have to be jamming on the brakes. So this idea that you're going to catch, you know, the 834, I mean, that's kind of pointless. The eyes have to keep moving. Yeah. At all times, you're looking for traffic, doors is open. You always want to look at least three to four blocks up ahead if you can. Try to see what's going on on your coach at all times. So make sure, uh, you know, everybody's hopefully holding on. And being lazy, this is not a lazy job. I would love to uh, have people come and uh, experience this. I think you appreciate us a little more. You really are turning over whatever control you have to the driver. It, it may not be easy to drive the bus, but it's not always easy to ride the bus. And I, I think they're aware of that. I see a person running at my doors are actually closing. I'm trying to open them quick as I can. You know, if it's just one person that you've seen that you have made it stay, that's great. That puts the topping on the cake right there. You can't beat that. There is a lot of times a really subtle sense of community on the bus. Even though everybody's either in their earphones or looking on their phones, we could daydream and look at somebody uh, across the aisle from you and just make up a little story about them in your head. 
as much as we might want to walk around in our own little bubble, um, really you're not. And we're all sort of dependent on each other. You know, we each bring our strengths and our failings to this little venture. We're going to be together for 20 or 30 minutes. Um, let's try to make the best of it. So everyone has to go somewhere every day, so I like to start their day off right. That makes my day. <laughs>